Good morning, Internet. It is the elevator. It is day one of Essen, and we are excited, and we are... I left the game list upstairs. And we left the game list upstairs. Breakfast in the Motel 1 is amazing. <laughs> Tiffany just explained to me that the Amsterdam vlog, or Amsterdam day one vlog, is edited, it is uploaded, and it is live, and that is off the chain. because we're in a traffic jam trying to get to the parking lot and he can get in early because he's helping an exhibitor so he just entered the hall dun, dun, dun. And, and I'm just stuck in traffic so as a member of Best you can get a parking pass which is what we did so now we're heading up from the parking garage stairs lots of stairs minutes to pick up the last few games before we get a bit of a rush. Uh, supposedly the rush at Essen is a little bit more polite and a little less enthusiastic than the Gen Con rush. So we'll see. All right, the con's about to open. There's Michael filming things. <laughs> Robin is is worse than I am. I have almost everything on this list. Uh, I have like one more booth to do. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that and then we have to go to another place. Ah! Okay, I've met up, I met up with Steve. We are almost done with our lists and then we can have fun. Fun! Also, huge shout out to Ferdinand at Spiel, I forget the name of the company. Spiel dot Spiel dot Etia, which is like Spiel Austria. Um, for being just super awesome. Oh yeah, Spielen dot Etia. Spielen okay. Ah, one last game. Whew. We thought they were out of Solaris mission, which I'm supposed to get for work. And right as I was like, ah, and I was filming a thing, which I cut off, the guy was like, what did you want? Oh, we have one. So that was awesome. Yay. All right, and now we're going for more games. Because this is our life now. <laughs> okay, so that booth was madness, but that was Stefan Feld signing uh, this copy of Oracle of Delphi. 
Spotify that I got. So there you go. Woo. All right, I'm looking for the Las Vegas card game, and then I'm done, except for pre-order pickups. Steve just said, do we always have to reenact the shirt? Available direct from me for $25 or euros for shipping. I'm making Steve feel what I've been carrying. So Feast of Odin is supposed to be crazy heavy. The colonist is heavier. That's close. That's, that's, that's close. That's, that's close. heavier. Yeah. Uh, it's, like, it's like one punch board heavier, I think. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Eric. Bye, Eric. Bye. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to the car to drop stuff off because our backs hurt. But we didn't know. I'm mewling for a couple people and the store, the game store that I work for. These are not all for us, sadly. Slash, yeah, we gotta play giant junk art, Steve. Regular junk art will be ruined for you forever. So press have access to the parking garage, which I mentioned earlier. And you can access it directly from Hall 3, which is amazing. Oh. All right, so now that we're back in and we, we're not freaking out, like, just wanted to show you the cottage garden booth. It's a little swamped. Well deserved, well deserved. But we're gonna get me food, um, because I promised Gil that I would give him lunch breaks. So we're gonna get me some food, and then Gil can go get food. And we have to stop trying to buy games. <laughs> food accomplished. So, last year I pointed out, but there are actually like food carts at the hall. So this is the Galleria, and there's a bunch of food carts and like fun kids stuff in it. And then there's also food carts inside the convention halls themselves, which is pretty awesome. So we got me some Asian food. I'm not crazy impressed, but it's fine. Steve is getting some french fries to go with his pack lunch that we got him and because celiacs. Um, so yeah, we're going to find a place to sit and eat and talk about stuff. Let's find a table. I don't know if they're So we opened Suze's copy of The Insider. Uh, because we have some nice French-speaking gentlemen here that want, we were interested. So they're reading the French rules, I'm reading the English rules, and Steve's reading the German rules. So we can play. Uh -huh. Good morning! Hey, uh, hey, can I uh, grab it in my hand? Yes, uh, uh, you can grab it, but you mean do it to no, fit? No, for the side. Uh, it doesn't fit in your hand, no. Is it heavy? Is it what? Heavy? Heavy? Uh, yes, can be. <laughs> And if the, if the insider guesses it, what kind of words we, we, we can find in, on the car? So I oh, don't know yeah. what kind of question to ask. I love Essen. We just sat with strangers and they came up and they saw the game and they were like, oh, and I was like, okay, let's play it. And then we played it and it was fun. Awesome. Also, we have fed, so we're better. And thanks. These vlogs are great. Oh, sorry. Hero Realms. The colony is running well. Steve just screamed Ted randomly. Oh, oh, Steve. I wanted to show you this. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Steve is nerding out. There's also a spider just walking across the floor. That is amazing that he survived. Uh, also, Steve is in Steve heaven right now. I wouldn't say heaven. Is it hell because you don't know if we can get it home? Oh no, the that one would be harder. That one has a lot more wood, blocks in the east. So um, with these games, a lot of uh, a lot of war games are hex encounter, but there's also a style where they use blocks, and then you apply stickers to the blocks, uh, and then um, one side's blocks are hidden, so you don't know the strength of the other units. So okay. Probably gonna part ways again, and uh, he's gotta go get a thing for shoes. I'm gonna go help Gil, and then we'll meet up again and then like play games and stuff. Okay, I must say this is much easier with Steve than by myself. But at the same time, last year I wasn't like muling for a bunch of people, so yeah. But 
I'm excited to actually be able to play games at some point. <laughs> oh man. So the thing here is that most bo most booths, most publishers especially, they uh, they don't have point of sale systems to like, they're not licensed to use credit cards, um, particularly. So, but most retailers are. So the small retail booths, um, you can usually pay credit card at to get the games. But the other ones, the big publishers, a lot of them, it's cash only. So if you are an American um, and you're coming to get games for, say, a game store and somebody else and yourself, you're going to quickly hit your cash limit on like ATMs and whatnot. So if you're coming and you're buying a lot on one day, like stock up on euros, essentially. Otherwise, um, try and buy games from markets and you can get a lot of stuff that's like been out of print in the US or just never hit the US or maybe it's not in distribution in the US. Um, you can usually find those at those little market shops. Plus there's just fun stuff in it. So like this one has a ton of like old games, like classic, classic titles. Uh, so I have to get through this aisle, which will be crazy. Because, oh my goodness, there's several resellers here. Ah. Steve would be a happy, happy boy in that booth. I'll have to bring him back to that one. And now I'm at the formal ferry booth. Sorry, I'm also pressed, so I'm recording. <laughs> I just like walked out of it. I was like, Gil, do you need help? So now I'm playing. Gil is trying to leave. It's great. It's great. All right, Tiffany is currently demoing the networks. So I am going to abandon her and then come yeah. back and rescue her in about yeah. an hour. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, let's, uh, let's go do that. I'm here in hall four right now. Um, there's, it's not the busiest hall, but some of the booths in here are crazy busy. You can see behind me, Cottage Garden is currently completely swarmed and half of their wall that we saw yesterday is gone. Uh, so they are doing gangbusters. Also, Uwe Rosenberg, uh, was telling us when he was over at the Feast of Odin booth that nobody had come up to him to ask for a signed copy or to sign their cottage garden. So this vlog won't be up before the con is over, but that's uh, he was totally happy and excited to sign anybody's cottage garden. So we might go back later and get it signed. Sadly, we don't have room in our suitcase, but they have a model of the uh, Neue Schwanstein, which is the castle that uh, Castles of Mad King Ludwig was, uh, was about. It's silly, but uh, I worked at a video game company once that made a level that was a recreation of Neue, Neue Schwanstein. Uh, so having a 3D puzzle of that would be pretty amazing. Just, there's a bunch of random, there's definitely a bunch of random stuff in here. 
one that I saw was uh, Silent War, which is a compass game solitaire submarine war game, um, which was apparently a little bit easier to play than the successor, which is in the Atlantic. Um, that's very tempting for 50 euros. Uh, what's interesting is because a lot of these games aren't really available more in the US, these prices are way cheaper than you might get if you were trying to find a used copy on uh, like a used game shop in the States. I should probably find Tiffany. Um, I've lost her, uh, and we've discussed what to do in a post-apocalyptic situation, uh, and it's generally meet up and or get the animals. Uh, the animals are safe, so really all I need to do is find Tiffany, and there she is. I found a chair and I'm hanging out. We're just hanging, I'm hanging out behind the scenes of BGG and Steve, Steve's stuck. <laughs> Steve's not allowed in. Uh, so I guess I'll go hang out with him now. There we go. Oh, oh. Zoom. The magic of the zoom, everybody. Did you guys see that? I take out for holidays. The Heracles. That's my holiday ship. Uh, this escort carrier, that's where my bodyguards go. Uh, this cruiser, yes, you know, just when I want to go get some milk from the shop. Uh, this heavy cruiser is for when I want to go actually go, you know, Costco, Sam's Club, that kind of stuff. Yeah. This is all new stuff rather than used stuff, so it's less. So stuff is starting to sell out, like Solaris Mission, the English version of Feast for Odin, I have a feeling The Colonist is probably close, um, and it's like 3 o'clock. We are on our way to a store to see uh, if there's some stuff there. Oh my god, those are cute. They're candles. They're Kyrgyzstan candles. That just make me sad to melt my meeples. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're just wandering around and looking for stuff, and then Hopefully we'll just be done purchasing for the whole weekend. That's kind of the goal. And then we can just get to play stuff. Woof. Lorenzo. Goodbye, Lorenzo. I was interested in playing that one. I'm gonna try it. Okay. Old if this is enough of a tilt, right? Well, you just walk down. Yes. No, that's good. You want it no, I, no, I meant I meant to tilt it towards you. Like, I was tilting towards you a little bit. You were oh, talking. no, that's how you should film to you. No, period. I meant like that. I, like, yes. Like I tilted that because you were talking. I'm just shorter, so you gotta go down a little bit too. But you wanna, yeah. Yeah, that's good. No. Okay. Uh, Tiffany, how do you say expansion in German? Expansion. Uh, what? Oh, uh, er, uh, er, 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 wait, er, wrong. Invite the room. Invite the room. There you go. Yeah. That's how, that's how you say expansion. What? Louvre is 29 euros here. Adrenaline is pumping. What? 31 languages by the end of 2016. That's.
I, I just want to throw out there, I, I am an abysmal tactician. Uh, I if, want! If uh, Tiffany was in charge of the Wehrmacht, things might have gone a little differently. Well, let's not say that. Oh. So it's definitely calming down. Um, also, I pick up weird accents when I'm here. A little while ago, Steve asked me my thoughts on a game, and so I responded with an Australian accent. Um, what? I was trying to hear what you were saying, although that means I'm way in frame. So I'm to do that. No, that's fine, you're just weird. Um, so yeah, that's, it's, I said it was calmer, and then I just ended up walking by something that's crazy crowded. Uh, we're, we demoed a game that Steve filmed, and it's not my kind of game, and oh, there's a dog! There's a dog, there's two doggies! Oh my god, there's two doggies. Oh, that looks very silly. There's my dog, dog treatment for the day. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Can I be your banana bandit? What? Never mind. So, in addition to there being like food cart things, there's snack booths. And mammoths. You can't eat the mammoth. So the hall doesn't close for another two hours, but we have been here since nine, uh, and it is five. And so, like, we brought a packed lunch, and yeah. So we are going to go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go get food. We're gonna go walk around. We're gonna put bags on. This looks like fun. It's raise your goblets. I love that they are actual goblets. That's awesome. So we're gonna leave, and then somebody was like, "Do you want to play?" So now we're playing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the good. The Schwazi app is, uh, yeah, universal. International. international. <laughs> also, I was just potentially poisoned. I can't look at my own cup. But you can. I swapped. Get rid of your, your wine bucket. one round and instead of playing the other two rounds we talked about games yeah we talked about board games and like tastes and and yeah and they were like ah, feast of odin ah, and it was like and then we later found out that they really like felt so that would explain a lot you know those feldies yeah. we Ugh. we two rosenbergs played a game with two felds yeah <laughs> oh and then what was the other guy he was into oh we never asked what he was into he he was interested in both Cry, in Cry Havoc, I don't know, and maybe Blood Rage, so. No, he, I don't think he wanted it to be like Blood Rage. All right, anyway, we're trying to get out again. Uh, board game bits, board game bits. It's the Captain Sonar setup. That was, that's brilliant, brilliant. Oh. It's so nice out. It's actually really cold. <laughs> we left Steve's jacket in the car. It's in the game bag that went in the car. We're taking the subway back. Oh, there's a puppy! I have to vlog it. Oh my god. It's like you're dying. I have to vlog it. What are we vlogging? <clears throat> that. We have left the subway, mm -hmm. and we are in the outside air, and when I was at the con, I said, no, I don't need my jacket, I'll be fine, we're just going from the subway to the motel. <laughs> and I just want you to know, internet, that if I don't make it, 
it was my fault. <laughs> and that I, I didn't intend to be playing Dead of Winter, the longest night in real life in Germany, but I am. And I'm worried. This this might this isn't good night internet, but it might be goodbye internet. <laughs> Look, idiom in another language. <laughs> Look, there was a cat. Okay, the idiom that was being described. There was a cat in a bag, or you know there. What, you know what cat? You know what cat is in a bag? Look, here's a cat. Here's a bag. No, but the cat's not in the bag. That's not the idiom. Okay, so. The gentleman that worked at the, the war game booth was explaining an idiom to someone else, and I only caught part of it, but it was that Actually, if you're buying an unknown game, you are either are or potentially buying a cat in a bag because you don't know... It's Schrodinger's cat. Yeah, you're, you're buying... Well, that's, it's an idiom based on Schrodinger's cat. Is that... Yeah. Okay, but I thought Schrodinger's cat was in a box, not a bag. Anyway, Look, you might be buying a cat in a bag, bag because you don't know if this like game that you're buying, like why in this case, it was like, arguing? it was like old ye old war games. Is like you if you don't really know the game very well, or you don't know about it. You could be buying a cat in the bag, which would be a waste. They had they had. Uh, I just really wanted that Silent War for fifty euro. Oh We're playing board games. We went to dinner. It was a really nice dinner, and I was sad that I had left my camera, but it was also really nice having dinner without you. Um, so we're we're at Efka and people, and we're just we're gonna play games. Um, so I'm not playing. I'm running. Is it huge? Is it a lot of it's huge. This is going really well. Uh, yes. Okay. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Yeah. Okay. okay. Huge, as in bigger than uh, Efka. Whale. Okay. <laughs> is it a plan? Wow. Like, do we have to name it? Is it, is it fictional? Uh, no. No, okay. No, it is fictional. Is it in the Pacific? Yes. Yes, I think so. It's the wine. That's not fictional. Yes, it is. Wait, no, he got it. It's a wine. Yes. So it's a You were 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 uh, before I kill you, Mr. Spy, um, Black Cat and Waffle Bonanza and Beyond Baby Street, which is a crap game. Uh, <laughs> Blush and Ace Island. I'm the best. <laughs> I'm the best. Is it a job? No, 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 it's a job. It's a person that's alive. Is you it don't know who's it. Is it a transgressor? It's a job. Toy factory. Oh, I'll record that. The factory makes toys in every category, can take any toy home, very profitable business, 
can make a custom toy based on you. A moped. Well, I don't understand. Not, <laughs> like, will not drive any other vehicle. Moped has top speed of 25 miles per hour. Usually want you to ride with them. Uh oh. <laughs> have been in accidents before. <laughs> oh. And waves at pedestrians as they pass. <laughs> oh. That should be the Robin, guys, the Robin does not want to date Portland. That's what I learned. <laughs> the objective of the game is to get rid of all the cards you have from your hand and including the one that's in front of me. Okay. okay. stream uh, and now we're punching more games Steve has given up I feel unconsciousness he really wants to play airborne commander he's very excited about that um, but this is all punch boards for the colonist so I'm gonna do that and then go to bed uh, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this vlog good night internet do you want to say good night Good night, Internet.